Well, that didn't take long. On the heels of the Supreme Court leading everyone to believe that it's possible for two people of the same gender to marry, comes the next step in the liberal push to rid the country of any kind of normalcy. Mark Oppenheimer, who writes for several publications, including the New York Times, says now is the time to end tax exemptions for religious institutions. He argues that government should not be, as he put it, subsidizing religion and nonprofits. This is the left's favorite way to frame any tax debate. They argue from a position that all money is government's and what you are allowed to keep is a subsidy. They want us to believe there's nothing to worry about and point to the opinion of Justice Anthony Kennedy, which clearly states, quote, religious organizations and persons will be given proper protection, end quote. But Oppenheimer lauds a decision in the 1983 Bob Jones University case where the court ruled that a school could lose tax-exempt status if its policies violated fundamental national public policy. Is there any reason to believe that this will never extend to the Supreme Court's ruling on homosexual unions? Utah Senator Republican Mike Lee explains legislation he introduced to specifically address this loss of freedom. I fear that what could happen is that the government could start discriminating against religious individuals and religious institutions that have a religious belief about the definition of marriage. I don't want that to happen. I, I uh, hesitate to even imagine what an America that would have that as part of its legal system would look like. That's why we need to pass this bill. We need to not allow the government to even think about retaliating against religious individuals or institutions. Oppenheimer doesn't like Lee's bill, going so far as to say, quote, rather than try to rescue tax-exempt status for organizations that dissent from settled public policy on matters of race or sexuality, we need to take a more radical step. It's time to abolish or greatly diminish their tax-exempt status, end quote. So as usual, any church or other religious nonprofit organization that disagrees with the left comes under attack. They want religion gone altogether and will stop at nothing to achieve that. They've hit the gas, folks. The ink isn't even dry on the Supreme Court's decision yet, and they're already lining up their next move. Thanks for listening. Please subscribe and donate at theraywarnashow.com.